a little Pisces. Um, I think I'm just gonna do an energy reading today. Just pick up on the energy of the cards. I hope everyone is having a good day. Okay, let's see what is going on with Pisces. Always for Pisces on this channel. Spirit, what messages do we have for Pisces today? of swords, the full card, and the seven of wands. Pisces, I'm feeling the energy. I feel you. That's what I feel. I feel like you... You kind of found yourself, so to say. Um, I feel like you're standing up for yourself more. I yeah. think you... This is what the Seven of Wands has given me. It's telling me that you, you are standing up for yourself these days. You're not letting people um, kind of tell you what to do, control your life, you know, make you feel down. I feel like you feel very powerful, like you feel like, you know, you can accomplish anything these days. Um, something has awakened and you are so different now. It's like you're ready for whoever comes at you with anything. You're kind of quick to snap, though. I do feel that. You know what it is? It's like sometimes when you go through a lot of different pain and people have, you know, hurt you in so many different ways, I feel um, you can't help but build up the strength and courage to not take it anymore. And I do feel like you're going maybe a little bit too overboard these days. Like you're so quick to snap on someone. You're so quick to like um, say, you know, not put up with anyone's bullshit, which I understand why, you know, like I, I feel why you feel that way because it didn't get you anywhere before. Um, so I feel like it's like with the full card, like you're putting more caution to the wind and you're just like, whatever, you know, what I want to do is what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. What do you say? Okay, no, I, I'm not listening to anything that you have to say. I don't really care. You know what? You're wrong. This is the way I feel. So I feel like it's getting a little bit, maybe a little out of hand. But don't get me wrong. I completely get where it came from. And I think it's a way of you just asserting yourself and saying that you're not going to be a victim anymore, that you're not going to um, kind of just um, allow people to take advantage of you anymore. So I know where it's stemming from, but I am feeling this energy of maybe you need to dial it back a little bit. You're still going to have the a lot of self-confidence. You're still going to be a very powerful person. You don't need to snap at everyone for every little thing when they don't go along with what you're saying or how you feel or understand you. That's a big thing. I feel like they're not understanding you. So I feel like you, yeah, that's another reason you might be snapping a little bit. Understand this, Pisces. Not everyone can go where it is that you're going. Not any, and not everyone's going to see what it is that you see or feel what you feel. Um, trying to take a step back. Don't put up with their crap, of course, but take a step back and just watch yourself because you don't want to also make someone feel 
like they're lower than you or less than you because they're not on your level of life right now. And that's what I'm feeling. I hope I explained that well. All right, let's keep going with this. What else does Pisces need to know? Ooh, okay. I don't know if that came out reverse or not. I'm not sure. Five of Swords. I don't think it did, but I don't know. I mean, here. The Death card. And the Two of Cups. Not everyone is trying to manipulate you, you know? And I do feel like there's like a mistrust. And once again, Pisces, I'm going to say it because I feel why there's this mistrust. I get it. I feel it hardcore. Nobody was looking out for you. No one cared if you were like on the ground and suffering. No one was there to pick you up. And if anything, I do feel like people made it worse for you. So I understand where this energy of being fearless came from. You know, becoming this warrior and this battler. I get it. I'm with you on that. I feel that. But yeah, tone it down a little bit because not everyone is trying to harm you. Some people just don't get it. Some people are just not going to see what you see. I feel like the death card, there's someone in your life and I don't see clearly yet. But there's someone, I feel an energy in your life that I think you're growing apart from them. It feels like you're growing apart. It feel, it's, it's coming from this like lack of understanding of who you are these days and how much you've changed. And that's what the death card is telling me. It's telling me that because you change so much and because you're different, there's someone in your life that's not understanding your your growth. They want to because I, I've been feeling like they do love you. And then I, I have these two of cups here. They do love you. They just don't understand your spiritual growth. They don't understand your spiritual journey. They don't have that connection to, you know, the universe and the divine the way you have. I feel like sometimes you look at them and you you feel like you're talking to a wall. But there's love there. I don't see a bad love. I don't know. I'm going to keep going deeper. But I don't see that it's bad right now. Just you guys are on different pages. It does feel like growing apart. Tell me more about this growing apart person. Tell me more about this connection that is rooted in love. The Nine of Swords. Six of Cups. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So this person that you might be growing apart from or is just not understanding you, um, your new level of life and spirituality, I feel like, um, hold on, I'm trying to get the words together. This person has also been the source of a lot of pain for you. I feel like they, um, now I see what, what it is too. There's a sense of animosity there. Um, and it could be coming from both ways, not clear yet. But yeah, there's an animosity. There's animosity for past hurts that either one of you two has done to each other. So I feel like that goes into this 
new relationship. I don't know why I want to say new relationship or continued relationship. I don't know. But like that wants to go into this new place and it's not meshing well. It's not meshing well because number one, you become very strong with who you are and what you feel and how you want to do things. And number two, you're holding on to this animosity and you're bringing it in or this other person is but there's definitely some type of and I feel like you guys don't even really acknowledge it I feel like it's buried underneath but it's there and that's what's affecting your relationship there's some type of hatred some type of um they're not over something or you're not over something now the six of cups Tells me about children, so I don't know if you guys have children. I don't know if you've known each other since childhood. I don't know if it's just... You want to have children with them? I don't know. But it has something to do with childlike love. And you don't want to bring it into your future. So if you don't want to bring this into your future, it's like you have to deal with this animosity. You have to deal with this hatred. Maybe you need a third party, honestly. Someone that can kind of smooth things out. Someone that's neutral to the both of you. And maybe help you both see where you both are coming from. It's Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Pisces, I feel you a little bit. Now, this could be your partner too, so I'm not 100% sure. But this is telling me that there's someone in the relationship that has this really strong hold to or control over either finances or how you're going to do things how you're trying to live life yeah and that kind of goes with everything else where it's like they don't see the other person's perspective yeah there's this deep disconnect when it comes to seeing each other's point of view and then working something out in the middle and i feel like it could be coming from both of you honestly So somehow you guys need to meet in the middle. Okay, keep going. Is there anything that Pisces needs to know? Temperance. Yeah, that's what I was feeling. It's kind of like you have to meet in the middle, you know, everyone has to give a little, take a little, you know, there's no like, you know, both feet in the water or both feet on land. Like you kind of both have to um, give a little. So I am definitely feeling it's the both of you. We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. All right, Pisces. Now, I feel like it's you, but it could be your partner. So, I feel like someone needs to take a step back. It could be both of you. Someone needs to kind of be a little more patient, um, kind of watch their words before they speak them. Because it's not really that becoming of you. And that's what the Nine of Pentacles is telling me in reverse. It's making the other, the person look bad. You know that, that thing where it's like when you speak ugly things, it's like you kind of become ugly, you know? So it's like you got to have a nicer way of putting things, especially to someone that you do love. Because I do see that there is love. So it's like, and it comes from, it can be either both of you or either one of you. I don't, that's not clear. But I feel like there needs to be, 
this communication that needs to change. You both need to speak to each other in a kinder way. Work on it. Get a third party. I don't know. If you both can't see or hear each other, get a third party. And then there's those that may feel that they don't want this relationship to be saved. That this is just that you've changed too much or they've changed too much. But I like saving things, especially when there's love involved. No one is perfect, you know? Depends how bad they were. I don't know. Is there anything else we need to know for Pisces? Anything else? Help me help Pisces. The Five of Wands, yeah. It's like reminding you that these little battles that you may be having, at times they may seem playful, but they add up. I don't know if that makes sense. They add up. And it's not really the way you're supposed to live life. It's healthy to not agree with someone 100% of the time, of course. Um, and But you also have to find a way of communicating where it's like you're not hurting each other. Okay. Get some more advice. I think that was advice, but let's get some more advice for Pisces. What advice do we have for Pisces? What advice do we have for Pisces? Ooh, two more come out, okay. I got fighting in reverse and consciousness in reverse. So it's saying, okay, first of all, let's go with the fighting because that's pretty obvious. Stop fighting. Stop it. Cut it out. It's not hurting you. It's it's not helping you. It's only hurting the both of you. And I feel like you're unconsciously doing it. And that's why the conscious is in reverse. It's like you, it's almost like a second nature to disagree with this person. Be more mindful, be more conscious of how you treat each other. All right, Pisces, I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe and thank you.